up, Ron Dorf here with uh, this time a video review of the Kindle uh, 3. Which, as you can see, it's a nice uh, graphite. It's really, really thin. It has a rubberized kind of back with speakers here. The underside, we can see a couple of ports, headphones, volume, clickety, uh, USB port, and unlock. See, I have a screensaver currently active. It has a bit mushier buttons on the side, I've been told. Still feels pretty good. Keyboard here, standard fare. Let's get unlocked. So, let's see here. I have some books here that I've got from the Kindle store mostly. Uh, and the one that I've got from a PDF. Try it out. You can see here it, it looks pretty good. Refresh time is not bad at all. Let's see, you can adjust font size with this uh, one right here. All good, like like any Kindle. Oh, that's. Real good, <laughs> and uh, of course th I have the Wi-Fi version, so you can maybe see a little thingy right up there. Wi-Fi well, turn wireless off. <coughs> Let's go home. <coughs> now, one of the things that I like about this Kindle, um, since what the f <laughs> I'm Swedish, so I have the international version of this, and I'm one of I don't think many people in Sweden have uh, like reading uh, uh, e ink pads, uh, e readers. Sorry, what the hell's wrong with me? Uh, so yeah, international version works pretty well, but some books are off limits, unfortunately. Let's see what do I have to press here. Back, yeah. Um, one of the things I love about my Kindle is that it actually can read manga. I'm gonna open up NHK here. Welcome to the NHK Volume 1. Um, as you see it looks pretty sweet. Uh, sometimes <coughs> with some uh, wordy manga it'll probably be really hard to read because uh, sometimes small fonts do not look that good because that's be compressed to fit on the Kindle screen. But you can see refresh time is still good and uh, it looks sharp and nice and it does very much sometimes it looks weird though as you can see here the previous frame uh, it looks strange this is this is a problem but not a big one uh, it feels really good in uh, like in your hand it is comfortable and it is really easy to read on uh, I'm gonna, I have the Way of Kings here with some uh, basic lashings and this font size is off the charts. Let's see, yeah, this is what I use for my reading. Uh, I just finished this book, amazing, Brandon Sanderson. And uh, yeah, so it, it also re can read to you. I think it's shift symbol. It has some built-in stuff like you can read. It has a text-to-speech and an MP3 player, thus the speakers. See? See? Turn that off. Uh, it also has a uh, let's see how can I find the menu in the experimental section I find a web browser exciting I think I have Engadget loaded on my web browser thought I had Engadget now this there's a web browser in ways it's not great because uh, because of the grayscale e ink and the low refresh rate is kind of hard to. Oh well, 
Anyways, I'm really pleased with this e-reader. It's really sharp. It looks great. Uh, form factor is good. Screen's good. Everything's fine, and it works well converting uh, PDFs and stuff like that. I read uh, the entire The Way of Kings was PDF converted. Uh, that was my little Kindle review. <laughs> I love it, and. Uh, I think people should get it if you like reading. If you don't, it's gargantuous waste of money, of course. Um, now it costs in um, from Amazon with shipping and everything. It cost me a grand total of uh, 150 euro, or I don't know, guessing 200 bucks or so. So yeah, that's my Kindle. And uh, also, side note, I dig these screensavers. Although this one is kind of the screensavers are can be really cool. Look at him, look at him, is that, what's up man, I'm Ralph Bellison. Mm -hmm. Bye.